Yes, yeah, so oligometastatic bladder cancer is, 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 is actually a collection of a number of different things. So firstly, you have to separate out patients with synchronous oligometastatic disease. That's to say they present with up to three, four, five metastases and an untreated primary and no prior treatment. Um, from patients who've had prior surgery or radiotherapy and then relapse with oligometastatic disease. So for this latter group, we've got reasonably good data that they have a much better prognosis than the other metastatic groups and stereotactic ablative radiotherapy is, is a reasonable treatment for those. For the former group, those who present with low volume metastatic disease, it's a much less clear situation. So we know from previous data from Stampede that treating the primary improves outcomes by about a third in terms of overall survival. What we don't know is whether you should attempt to treat the metastases with stereotactic radiotherapy as well. So that's a randomization we're setting up. So in this session, we're going to look at um, a case history presenting with synchronous metastatic disease um, as a sort of basis for further discussion, really to highlight the fact that giving stereotactic radiotherapy is creeping into practice, but really not with a very good evidence base in synchronous metastatic disease. The second component of this is the shift in imaging that's occurring from CT and bone scan to PSMA PET in particular based imaging, but also we'll highlight that there's also separate data that you can get from a whole body MRI scan, um, which also gives you additional staging information compared to, if you like, standard imaging.